What's going on, Dragon Ball Super fans? I'm Red Hammer Gaming here today, presenting my official review and breakdown for Dragon Ball Super Episode 31, leading into Dragon Ball Super Episode 32. The match begins. Everyone head to the Nameless Planet. Now, guys, Episode 31, as seen in my review, was a very mellow, nonchalant episode with Bulma and Jocko going off to find Lord Zuno to go on ahead and seek information to the Super Giant Dragon Balls. Now, again, um, in Episode 31, there wasn't much to showcasing other characters like uh, Beerus and Shampa, Vados and Whis, Goku, and Vegeta, and Piccolo. Barely had any scenes into this episode, uh, but it was mainly Jocko and Bulma going out there seeking to find Lord Zuno and finding more information uh, as to what the Super Giant Dragon Balls are and where you can find them. Now, of course, episode 32, guys. Episode 32 is going to start off very hot because, again, we're going to round everybody up. Monaka is going to make his debut alongside Mojenta, Hit. Uh, we have Kabe, we have Frost, we have Otamo. Everyone's going to be there. And then, after that, episode 33, the tournament will begin with Goku versus Otamo. Now, going back to this episode, now, um, is anybody else besides me curious? as to what the dragon may look like because again um if, if the dragon balls are like the size of well actually bigger than planet earth then can you imagine what kind of entity might come out of these dragon balls like again we have purunga and shenron that came out of like these tiny little balls from namek and, and earth um but now we have dragon balls the size of you know earth like, a, like just a little bigger than earth now can you imagine the size of the dragon that just very well might come out of these like dragon balls and stuff um who knows i mean i for akira toyama's humor maybe perhaps the dragon that does come out of the like, the original super giant dragon balls is a tiny little dragon um that would be hilarious but again if it is a massive massive dragon can you imagine like the sheer size of this thing it would be huge now um in episode 31 again we have Jocko and we have Boma going about the like, little, little adventure and whatnot we have them seeking out Zuno and they finally find Zuno and Zuno tells him about the super giant dragon balls and what's really interesting to note here is the fact that he tells Boma that there's one set of super giant dragon balls that are spread between two universes that means both universe 6 and universe 7 have to share the same giant dragon balls but of course the mystery here is where is the seventh Dragon Ball? Now we do know that there are six Dragon Balls currently present at the Nameless Planet, but the final Dragon Ball is missing. So where is that final Dragon Ball? We don't know. Is it in the middle? Is it like scavenged somewhere in a different universe? We don't know where it is. Uh, is it in Universe Three? Is it in Universe uh, you know Eight? Is it in Universe Nine? We don't know what happened. I mean, of course, it, it, it's kind of like mysterious in a way because if Shampoo was able to collect all six but was having trouble to collect the final one, that just hints the question on where is the final Dragon Ball. Now, Zuno is supposed to be, and this is really weird here, Zuno is supposed to be the most knowledgeable being within the entire universe. That means his knowledge even exceeds that of the Kais. His knowledge exceeds that of Whis. And to me, that is a little bit of a problem because the God, the Kais are supposed to be like the gods of the universe, uh, the gods of creation. Of course, you have Whis, who is ultimately associated with God Destruction. So how is it that Lord Zuno has more information and more knowledge than any one of those beings? You know, the South Supreme Kai, the North Supreme Kai, the East Supreme Kai, the West Supreme Kai, Whis, Beerus, the Grand Kai, the Supreme Kai, it, it's just mind-blowing that this one creature that, that dwells within the center of the universe knows more than any of these other characters, so that, that right there is a little weird, um, and again, I'm just going to acknowledge it as the fact that it's non-existent, because how the hell uh, didn't like the Kais not know of the Super Giant Dragon Balls? How didn't anybody know about this is beyond me, uh, but needless to say, Zuno tells them what's going on, and there were several references to Boma's titties, in which case she does have some fine-ass titties, though. Um, but yeah, that was definitely brought up, and uh, again, very comical, a nonchalant, very mellow episode, and uh, going into the next episode, guys, alright, so now we're gonna get to see the features of uh, all of the Universe 6, including Monaka, now, here's the thing about Monaka, I have such a, a, a weird feeling about him, because again, going back to episode 30, um, when Whis was kind of hesitant on bringing them to the team, Beerus pretty much told Whis, listen, let me just do all the talking, I'm pretty sure I can convince him, now, again, they haven't seen Monaka in such a long time, and what's really funny here, I cannot wait to see is Goku making fun of him because he's short he's like you know uh, different in stature he has like really sharp pointy nipples so I'm really curious as to what Goku's gonna say because Goku's gonna be um, the asshole of the group coming up to this dude and saying hey I'm a super saiyan god and yet you're more powerful than I am how's that like are you able to like sharpen coconuts with those fucking nipples of yours and stuff so it it's gonna be so funny to see because um, he's gonna be the one provoking uh, Monaka and I I I'm really intrigued as to what Monaka's gonna say to him um, and, and let alone how his mannerisms are, uh, but again, we do see Universe 6 there, we see Botamo, this giant ass Winnie the Pooh on steroids, we see Frost, we see Monaka, uh, we see, you know, Hit, we see Kabe, we see Frost, everybody's there, and um, they're all traveling, you know, to this nameless planet to where episode 33 and 34, the fights will ensue, and I cannot wait to see because Botamo versus Goku, Frost versus Piccolo, and of course, the other mysterious fights between Vegeta, Monaka, we're gonna have uh, Kabe and Frost, everyone's gonna be a part of this, and, um, 
Again, going into this, it's going to be so interesting because uh, everyone's going to be fighting for these Dragon Balls, but yet we still don't know where the final Dragon Ball is. Uh, we do have the side story of Gohan and Goten and Trunks um, and Bulma and Jocko on Earth, so who knows what's going to happen with that. Uh, but again, I'm just really intrigued as to what's going to happen because while they're all fighting on the Nameless Planet, they're, 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 they're technically competing for six Dragon Balls, not seven because, I mean, we don't even know where the last one is. So, of course, this is going to be really awesome to see. Um, and Dragon Ball Super Episode 31 pretty much was a... a a, a throwback to Jocko's story. Um, I personally have never read the Jocko manga, so I'm not really too familiar as to, you know, uh, quite what was going on in terms of, like, Jocko's connections to Zuno and, and everybody there. But, of course, uh, there were certain scenes that happened with, uh, you know, this space criminal that came on by, and he was trying to hold one of the inhabitants of Zuno's planet hostage. Um, Jocko pretty much took care of him, one, two, three. Uh, not much action going on here. We, we did see cameos of Goku and Vegeta. Uh, they're pretty much waiting along. I mean, what, what's really disappointing for me, at least, is not being able to see Piccolo train. Um, I really wanted to see Piccolo at least prepare for this tournament because um, even though a lot of people might not like see the correlation here, why is it that everyone was able to get ready during the Cell Saga, during the Cell Games tournament to prepare and get better and train and get stronger, but you know, everything is on the line. There, there are There is more on the line in this tournament than, than what there was in the Cell Games, but yet during this, nobody's training, nobody's getting their shit in. Um, of course, we haven't really seen Goku and Vegeta train um, inside the hyperbolic time chamber for three years uh which equals to three days because in the manga we did get to see them fight in there um but in the show it looks like we're not going to see that which is very very disappointing because i wanted to see um these two fight as gods in the chamber uh we don't see piccolo train we, we almost saw piccolo train once with gohan and that was a little bit of a letdown but again we are now heading into the universal god destruction planet and we are now heading into the nameless planet where the tournament will commence, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. But once again, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Where in the hell is the final Dragon Ball? Where is the uh, seventh or final Dragon Ball that they are looking for? Uh, do you guys think it's in a different universe? Do you guys think that an another character has it, and he's holding it against, you know, Beerus and Champa? Or do you guys think it's out there scavenged, just waiting to be found? Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And what are your overall thoughts on episode 31 going into episode 32? How do you think the confrontation between Monaka and Goku is going to go down? Comment down below guys once again thank you all for watching if you guys are dragon ball fans don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you guys don't miss a single dragon ball episode if you guys enjoyed if you guys cannot wait to see what's going to happen next then smash that like button leave your thoughts in the comment section below tune in for the next episode and the next update of course if you guys want to go on ahead and watch uh dragon ball super yourself all you have to do is go on google there's a bunch of you know different sites you guys can go on ahead and uh check out it's, it's very awesome because um again i cannot wait for the dub because the dub is going to be very awesome when it does drop um but we have you know quite a ways to go for that uh but needless to say guys comment down below and let me know your overall thoughts on this thank you all for watching once again tune in for more and i'll be seeing you all later guys take it easy peace